I'm going to be good today. <laughs> My name is Beverly Biggs Levy. I'm in the third ward. Quincy, I ain't mad at you for fighting. Fight for your seat. I ain't going to be mad at you. But you had 770 people to sign that petition. <laughs> so that's something to think about. Liddell, you want to put Miss Danster out for speaking out. Who going to put you out for trying to get three men? Trying to fight three men. Who going to put you out? Who have ever reprimanded you for that? Nobody. Like I said, you come in here like Shaka Khan one day and Boosie the other. But I don't know if anybody told you that haircut on the side needs to be laid down, baby. I done told you, cooch hairs don't look good. <laughs> I don't know anybody that won't fight for their seats. Fight for it. I ain't mad at you. But you're going to have a run for your money. I'm going to tell you that. Judy, we working on you. You are next in line. We will not have you guys on this seat. You don't respect our people. You don't respect the people. And when you don't respect the people, the people coming. We're not going to sit down. We're not going to lay down. We're going to get, I'm calling pastors to come here and sit in these seats and listen to how you guys treat us, how you weaponize us with the police. We're going to stop this. You get a ride every time a council meeting with, by the police. You don't get a ride. Do you get a ride to go to the toilet? You don't get a ride to have to go to the toilet. So you shouldn't get a ride to come down to the city council seat. You need to step back and move back because you're not going to keep sitting in this seat thanking you God gives to ugliness because you're not. You're not. You're very ugly. Inside, you are very ugly. And you try to wear that makeup, you need to get a towel and wash that garbage off your face and try to be what you is, the devil. You are the devil. And it's sad that y'all sit up here, Seventh Ward, I can't wait to August. We can't wait. You have to go. You are a nobody. And it's sad. You are a very nobody. Y'all have a good day. Thank you. And it, it, it's unfortunate that, we, that the fact that you came to town and you was misinformed. That's fine. Go with one side of the story, but business of the city will continue to be conducted in an ethical way. So as we enter into the summer, we want to make sure that we are promoting a safe and clean summer. I encourage all gun owners to come to City Hall, get your gun locks. They are provided free at the Office of Public Health here, as well as with the Michigan State Police and with the Well of Hope. Last but not least, we, the city had a great time at the rodeo. And we're looking for- Wait, please. Okay, so my clock is ticking. I'm going to say this, it is unfair for her to, number one, she becomes argument of Liddell Lewis with the audience. Doug went to four people's homes, put mail in the box. Let's talk about how dangerous Doug is. Let's talk about that. Talk how, about how dangerous that the Ethics and Accountability Board is scared because he went to four people's home putting mail illegally in their box just like you did, Liddell Lewis. Let's talk about the truth for a change so that you can become familiar with the truth. And then you're going to take a cheap shot at Beverly Biggs with the gun lock. How dare you? How dare you? That toddler died, and you're going to make a cheap shot as a mother and want somebody to feel empathy and sympathy for you. And you're going to put that up there. There's a special place for you. You are so wrong. Going to make a cheap shot. A toddler lost his life, and you playing games. And going to talk about a mother. You a mother, all right, but not Alrighty, that type of mother. thank you. Thank you. Please put my one minute up, please. Liddell, 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 Liddell. I'm not quite sure what to do with you. 
Everyone knows that that gun lock that you put up and wiggled around the room was a shot. It was a shot towards my mother, and it was a shot towards me. And you should thank God for my growth, because it was a time that you wouldn't have had a chance to make a second shot. But I'm not going to come up here. I'm not going to cuss you out. I'm not going to yell at you. I'm not going to scream at you, because what I realized about you, you feed off of that. You strive and you thrive off of chaos and dysfunction. You feed all of it, but you, every week, you feed and feed and feed off of it. You're, you're looking for something just to cause chaos and dysfunction. Every week, it never fails. But I hope you can heal what's broken in you. I hope you can fix where you hurt. Because <laughs> because you have some real inner issues that is going on within you. And I am not going to stand up here and I'm not going to stroke your ego and I'm not going to feed your pride. I'm not going to do it. But I do want you to know that you cannot be in leadership and be nasty to people and expect people to respect you. you it's impossible. And as a Dr. Liddell Lewis, you should know that. I do want you to know that pride goes before the fall. And your seat has an expiration date. You just remember that.